some exceptions, you know, Jay's never been a super day-to-day, -day, you know, run the carpool, do the homework, you know, cook breakfast, that kind of dad. Trying to send him to the grocery store is going to be a lost cause. You're, you're going to get half your list and then a bunch of other items, and uh, you're wondering what you're getting back after the fact. But he has always, always, always moved heaven and earth to be at their events. I mean, thoroughly, deeply in his soul. He enjoys that stuff. One of the hardest things to do is put as, just as much energy into the personal side as you do into the work life. So having that balance and excelling not only in one but the other makes him incredibly special. He took them all on one or more trips just by themselves. It just makes you feel special that it's your time to just be with dad. That gave us a, a, a chance to talk just one on one or not talk because I think sometimes it's important just to be with somebody and just to take in what you're seeing and keep your mouth shut, which is hard for me. I think that my dad's wouldn't be the father of the year without my mother. I mean, there's no question that uh, the smartest thing he ever did was marry my mom. The two of them have been a, a very strong partnership with, with all four of us. Having the opportunity to, to work with the Portland chapter and the Oregon chapter of the American Diabetes Association happens to be personally important to us because through Renee's family, um, her dad uh, struggled mightily with, with diabetes and, and it was a complication in, in, in his ultimate death. Every one of us can be more accountable in how we treat ourselves and our bodies to help uh, provide a better path towards not only resolving the disease, but, but making ourselves and our community a lot healthier. Early in his career, he was very busy. I was able to uh, throttle back and take a lot of time with the family mid-career. And, and at the end of his career, he was really able to uh, enjoy a, a great uh, mix of, of uh, mental engagement and uh, uh, having a great exit at the end of a career, as well as spending time with family. But now he's, he's uh, broadening his horizons with Grandpa Hood here, so. <laughs> I think one of the greatest joys is, is watching your kids become parents. It is so much fun. There is so much collective energy when everybody gets together. I think it really is just his support and um, his excitement for everyone and what everyone's doing um, that does. It just makes you feel so loved. He's just there and, you know, he's really always been there, but it's kind of nice to see him so much again now and so happy. Now he can focus completely on the family and all of us are very grateful for that. <laughs>